tayo ng matuto upang ikaw yung asenso. Maging matyaga, maging matalino, alina matara na tayo. Maging matyaga, maging matalino, alina matara na tayo. Alina matara na tayo. Alina matara na tayo. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat mga batang mandunong and home learning partners sa patuloy na pagtuto dito sa Project SOAR, Series of Online Academic Reviews of Mathematics Delayed Learning Modules. I'm Ma'am Karen Sota, a teacher from Andres Bonifacio Integrated School and your moderator for Week 8. Bago tayo magpatuloy, nais ko po kayong anyayahan na bisitahin I-like at follow ang aming official Facebook page, Math Team, Mathematics Teachers Association of Mandaluyo. I-like at i-share din ang video na to at mag-subscribe na rin sa aming official YouTube channel, MTM Channel. Kanina ay napanood natin ang detailed discussion ni Ma'am Leas ng advanced lesson para sa ating grade 9 learners. Ngayon, Kilalanin naman natin ang lecture ng advanced lesson for grade 10. Finding the probability of the union of two events. She is an alumna of St. Columbus College in Pangasinan and also a graduate of two vocational courses in Formation Technology and Computer Hardware Services at Mandaluyong Manpower and Technical Vocational Training Center. She is a well-admired grade 10 mathematics teacher in Avis. Mga batang manduno and home learning partners, let's all welcome Mrs. Nora M. Ramirez. A pleasant morning, parents, teachers, and learners. Welcome to our Project SOAR, series of online academic review of mathematics clade learning modules. I am Nora M. Ramirez a teacher from Andres Bonifacio Integrated School, and I will be your reviewer for the week 8 of grade 10 mathematics. My topic is about finding the probability of union between two events. Here are the objectives. Number one, illustrate the probability of a union of two events. And number two, find the probability of A union B. Looking back at the previous discussion on how to get the probability of an event, try to answer the following simple problem. A die is rolled. Find the probability of landing on a prime number. The set of numbers on the die is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we have 6 possible outcomes of rolling a die, and the 3 of which are 3 possible primes, which is 2, 3, and 5. Therefore, the probability of landing on a prime number is 3 out of 6 or 1 half. Let's continue. A playing card is drawn at random from a standard deck of 52 playing cards. Find the probability of drawing a heart. A pack or deck of 52 playing cards, they are divided into 4 suits of 13 cards each, which are spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. Cards of spades and clubs are black cards. Cards of hearts and diamonds are red cards. The number of hearts are 13. Therefore, the probability of drawing a heart is 13 over 52 or in the lowest term that is equal to 1 fourth. What is the probability of landing on an odd number after spinning a spinner with seven equal sectors numbered 1 to 7. On this problem, there are seven equal sectors in a total of a spinner. There are four numbers which are odd. These are 1, 3, 5, and 7. That means the spinner will land four times out of seven. 
Now, what is the probability of choosing a green marble from a jar with 4 red, 5 green, and 6 blue marbles? If one marble is chosen at random, the probability of choosing a green marble from this jar is 5. So I have 5 over 15, or 1 third. I got 15 by adding up all the marbles, which is 4, 5, and 6. From the calendar months, what is the probability of drawing a month with 28 days? There are 12 months, of which 4 have 30 days and 1 has either 28 or 29 days. The remaining 7 have 31 days. If a month is chosen randomly from a list of 12, all of the months contain 28 days. So you have 12 out of 12 or 1. There are many examples around you of compound events. Now the question is, what are compound events and how do we find its probability? A compound event consists of two or more simple events. And here are my examples. Number one, getting exactly two heads when tossing three coins. Number two, rolling an even number or a prime number in a die. And number three, drawing a queen or an ace from a standard deck of cards. These are what we consider examples of compound events because it consists of two or more simple events. Let us recall the union and intersection of events. Which one is at the street and Sampaloc Street? And which one is at the street or Sampaloc Street? In our example, intersection is a point or place where the at street and Sampaloc Street intersect or meet. And the word that you will also see that indicates union is or. Just like in our example, at the street or Sampaloc Street. When you put north and south together. Para sa karagdagang kaalaman kung ano ang union and intersection, for this video, pag-uusapan natin ang probability of the union of events. Which is A and B, and which is A or B. So this is event A and B, and this is event A or B. The word union means uniting, or pinagsama sa Tagalog. The union of events A and B is the event that either A or B or both occurs. The union is denoted by A union B, or simply A or B, while the intersection of events A and B is the event that both A and B occur. Okay, what do you notice about events A and B? In the Venn diagram, the two events A and B have no common elements or they don't share any exact points. Hindi sila nagahawak. Therefore, these two events are mutually exclusive or sa ibang term ay tinatawag na disjoint. This probability of two events is found by adding the probability of each event. Their intersection is zero. Okay, so this Venn diagram shows event A and B which are not mutually exclusive because event A and B intersects. They are joint or simply the likelihood that the two events will happen at the same time. To read the formula, the sum of probabilities of the two events A and B is subtracted by their common elements or their intersection. The probability of their intersection should only be included once, so we need to subtract one of those. It is often useful to use a Venn diagram to visualize the probabilities of events. For example, rolling a die, we have six possible outcomes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. In our example, we have event A, roll a 4. So out of 6, may isang 4 sa 6 sided die. So we have 1, 6. And the event B, roll an odd number. We have 1, 3, 5. May tatlo out of 6. So 3 over 6. So obviously, the two events have nothing in common. So ito ay pinatawag na disjoint or mutually exclusive. Since the two events have no outcomes in common, therefore they can never occur simultaneously. It is often useful to use a Venn diagram to visualize the probabilities of events. Event A is the probability of getting a prime number, and event B is the probability of getting an even number. There are six possible outcomes of rolling a die. I have shown that five of those outcomes is either prime or even. In the event, I just remove one of the two which is common element so as to not double the count. Therefore, the probability of rolling either a prime or even number on a single roll of die is 5 out of 6. 
A card is drawn at random from a 52 deck of cards. Find the probability of getting a spade or a jack. The probability of getting a spade is 13 out of 52 from a deck of cards. And then the probability of drawing a jack is 4 out of 52. Subtracted by 1 over 52 as their intersection. Therefore, the probability of getting a spade or jack is 16 over 52, or in lowest terms, 4 out of 13. A card is drawn at random from a 52 deck of cards. Find the probability of getting a king or a queen. Well, I add the probability of each event together. The probability of drawing a king is 4 out of 52, then the probability of drawing a queen is 4 out of 52. Then their sum is 8 over 52, or in lowest term, this is 2 out of 13. There are instances that both events, the probability of A or B, are not going to occur. For example, a card is drawn at random from a 52 deck of cards. Find the probability of getting neither A nor B, or not A and not B. So we have to find first the probability of two events, A and B. Thus, the probability of either A or B occurs. In symbol, we have the probability A union B, which is the sum of both probabilities A and B. So we have 4 over 52 plus 4 over 52, which is equal to 8 over 52, or 2 out of 13. And the probability of neither A or B occurs. 1, which is the total sample space, minus the probability of A union B. So we have 1 minus 2 over 13, which is equal to 11 over 13. If 70% of the grade 10 students like to play basketball, 50% like to play volleyball, and 30% who like both, what is the probability that a randomly selected student loves either basketball or volleyball? So the probability of grade 10 students who like to play basketball is 70% added by the probability of those who want to play volleyball, which is 50%, subtracted by those who both like basketball and volleyball to play, which is 30%. So this is our formula. We have the probability of B union V is equal to the probability of P plus the probability of V minus the probability of B intersection V. So if we input the value, we have 70% plus 50% minus 30%. So it becomes 1.20 minus 0 0.30. Therefore, the probability of V union V is equal to 90%. If 70% of the grade 10 students like to play basketball, 50% like to play volleyball, and 30% who like both, what is the probability that a randomly selected student does not love any of the two sports? So, nakuha natin kanina is 90% sa mga napiling mag-aaral na gusto maglaro ng kahit ano sa dalawang laro. Pwedeng basketball o kaya volleyball. Ngayon naman, ay hahanapin natin ay yung presyento ng mga napiling mag-aaral na ayaw maglaro ng kahit isa sa dalawang laro. Kaya ngayon, nagkaroon tayo ng probability that both events, neither A nor B, happens. So that is equal to 1 minus the probability of B union B. So 1 minus 90%. Therefore, the probability of neither B, neither B nor V is equal to 10%. 10% of the selected students does not love any of the two sports. There are balls in four different colors in a box. The probability of drawing a blue ball red ball and a green ball are one-third, one-fourth, and one-sixth, respectively. If a ball is drawn randomly, find the probability of selecting a red or a green ball. So, our formula is probability of R union G. So, that is equal to probability of R plus probability of G. So, if we input the values, it will become one-fourth plus one-sixth. So, we add that, which is 3 plus 2 over 12. Therefore, the probability of R union G is equal to 5 over 12. A group of 50 people 
children and adults were assessed for allergy to a certain medicine. Find the probability that a person chosen is either a child or not allergic. The total number of children, allergic or not allergic, is 18 out of 50. And the total number of children and adults that are not allergic is 28 out of 50. So the probability of a child is 18 over 50, plus the probability of not allergic is 28 out of 50. So their sum is 46 over 50. Minus the number of both of these events happening is 8. Thus, the probability of child or not allergic is 38 over 50, or in lowest terms, is 19 over 25. So now we are in our summary portion of the discussion. A compound event is the combination of two or more simple events with more than one outcome. It is also the probability of compound events that combines at least two simple events, either the union of two simple events or the intersection of two simple events. We have the probability of union of events with no common outcomes. To find the probability of the union of two mutually exclusive events, we add the probabilities of each of the events, or basically, we find A union B by putting all of the elements of A and B together. This is also called a probability of the union of mutually exclusive events or disjoint. Probability of union of events with common outcomes. To find the probability of the union of two events, we add the probabilities of the two events and subtract the possibility that both events occur simultaneously. Probability of A or B are not going to occur or the probability of neither A nor B of an event is the difference between one and the probability that the event occurs. That is all students. Thank you for listening.